Beth Altringer. I'm based in engineering and applied science and teach a couple of hands-on innovation courses that are multidisciplinary. We bring students from all over the university here to engage in multidisciplinary projects that may become startups that go into residence at the, at the iLab and develop further from there. So for the Hauser project, ultimately what I'm looking at is given this shift toward more hands-on experiential learning and, um, and given a shift toward more multidisciplinary projects, how do we begin to evaluate whether these are working well? The reality is that this process is characterized by uncertainty. You don't really know what you're building. You have to figure out um, amongst a group of people how you're going to get there and then go about actually implementing it. And that involves a lot of micro decision making and macro decision making and negotiation. And we don't typically train for those things. Most of our education system is still really set up to reward individual talent. And, uh, you know, Harvard is certainly not alone in this, but I think that a lot of students get to Harvard because they have excelled as individuals in every environment that they have encountered. And that's how you get accepted to this university. And it's also how you're evaluated in just about every class here. And it's all also how you're evaluated for graduate school or anything you might typically do after this. So we really have a system that is built on individual talent. And, um, and what's funny is the real world is not really like that. And it's true that you need to be individually talented, but you need to be able to work effectively with others. And we need to provide opportunities in the university to learn how to do that effectively. Because it doesn't really make a lot of sense to send people out, to train them really well as individuals, and then send them out into an environment where they need to excel as group members or team members, and yet not have really prepared them for that or for the fact that they'll really be evaluated for how they're contributing to a larger group or organization. There are a couple of key outcomes that I hope for on this project. And one is really a, 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 a rich description of how this happens across a range of classes and what that means according to what we know from the literature. The second one is how can we better design courses to do what we're trying to get them to do. And so in between that, there, there will be some quantitative factors that are very interesting to look at, but the sample size is not that big. So I, I think the main power is going to be in really understanding uh, almost qualitatively how these classrooms are doing what they're hoping to do, uh, and then matching that to what we know from the literature and looking at, well, where are there potentially gaps in what the learning out the, the desired learning outcomes are and what we're really seeing happen in these classes. Mm -hmm.